Hello friends, Tony here. In this video, I'm going to display the tasks belong to this user, so the, to the authenticated user. And if I open again the live wire documentation, let's take a look again at the forms because we have something we need to cover. So forms here, and we have worked with forms, but also we can see we have this live updating fields, only updating fields on blur and also the real time validation. So by default, LiveWire only sends a network request when the form is submitted or any other action is called, not while the form is being filled out. So for example, if you want to make sure that the title input is synchronized with the dollar sign title property on the backend as the user types, which mean as we type in here, so if I refresh, I, if you want to synchronize this input with the dollar sign property we have in the task form, you may add the dot live modifier to wire model. Okay, so here we have an example of wire called a model dot live modifier. And now as a user types into this field, the network request will be sent to the server to update the dollar sign title. And this is useful for things like a real-time search where a dataset is filtered as a user types in a search box. And let's do that. Let's open the tasks index. And here or before that, let's inspect the element, refresh, and let's go to network. And I'm going to clean this. And if we type here, nothing is going to change. So we, not, we are not sending a request. But if we add the dot live modifier on wire model, so it's title, the form title, and now let's refresh that, let's clean. And if we type here, as you can see, it's going to send the request as we type here. And also let me show you in here if I display, for example, dollar sign for title and let's close this we don't need that now here it's empty but if we type as you can see here is the title is going to update as we type okay let's remove so that was the live updating also we have the updating fields on blur okay so here we have the blur so for most cases the dot life is fine for real time form field updating however it can be overlay network resource intensive on text inputs so if instead of sending network request as the user types you want to instead only send the request when a user taps out of the text input also referred to as blurring on input and you can use the dot blur modifier instead. So here we have an example. Now the component class on the server won't be updated until the user presses tab or clicks away from the text input. And let's see, let's come here, inspect the element, go to the network and change the dot live to dot blur. Now if I save, Okay, let's clean. Okay, so let's type something. And as you can see, it's not sending a request yet. When we click outside of this input, so if I click to this slug now, it's going to send that request. So only when we uh, click outside. Also, we have this real-time validation and we saw that if we use that uh, live again and sit save let's come here and refresh again and if we type one yeah we have the title field must be at least five characters and we if we type more than five it's going to remove the validation so that is the real-time validation and now let's display all the tasks belong to this user for that I'm going to open the task index and here when we return the view I'm going to add also 
tasks belong to this user so I'm going to say tasks not this form tasks but it's going to be authenticated user and chain the tasks relationship okay like this let's go here and here now I'm going to paste the code which is ready for you so for each task as a task here we have the anchor tag with shref some classes and a div so if I save this yeah here's the list okay let's also add to this one my of uh, four and yeah nine, like this now what we need is here is the title 2021 and we need to display the task title then we need to display the deadline so let's say here dollar sign task deadline and I'm going to say uh, to be div for humans div for humans and also here we need to display the description so dollar sign task description like this and here we are now one week from here so we need some design here and I'm going to do in behind the scenes also for the form but that's it the idea so if I go and add new one so let's say first task and let's submit here is the first task okay friends uh, that's it all about this video now don't forget if you like such a video subscribe to my channel like the video share with your friends and see you in the next one all the best